In this tutorial, we'll be creating the shattering glass effect using Element 3D within After Effects. First off, we're gonna create the shattered element here, and if you already have a pre-fractured object, you can go ahead and skip this part and just start from there. Let's go ahead and create a cube, and we wanna make it pretty long, but pretty thin, just like glass. Now, we wanna select the Annotate tool, and under Placement here, make sure we're set to Surface. And we can go ahead and draw like this, and this basically will define where the glass is shattered from. Okay, once you're done drawing like a five-year-old, let's go into Edit, Preferences, and here you can search for Cell and make sure you have Object Cell Fracture selected. So now, once you select the cube and go into Object, Quick Effects, Cell Fracture should appear. In here, we want to change a few settings. So first off, let's change it to Annotation Pencil, so it defines by what we just drew. And let's go into the Source Limit and set this to 250 and this defines how many pieces they're gonna be. Let's up the noise here, maybe to 0.5, and the recursion to one. Let's hit OK and let it break. Okay, once that's done, we can go ahead and hide the very first layer here. And as you can see, we get a broken glass from the area we selected. Let's select them all, click on File, Export, and select OBJ. Now going to After Effects, we're gonna create solid here for the background, make it black, and another solid for element. Let's create a camera and let's add element to this layer. Let's go into our scene setup and let's import the model we just created. Okay, it should appear pretty small like so. Let's rotate it. Let's go ahead and go into the material here and make this black. And let's up the reflectivity here to 20 and the refraction to maybe 80. We can go back later to change the settings, but for now we're just gonna go with this. Let's take it out of the group folder here and duplicate it and set it to group number two. Let's hit OK. And in here, let's scale it up a bit more. And we're just going to position this in the center and maybe use our camera to zoom in so it fills the full frame. Let's go into multi object and enable it. Now let's go into group utilities and under copy paste here, select copy and paste it into group number two, like so. So this just copies the same settings from group one to group number two. Now in group number two, let's go ahead and increase the rotation random and the displacement. And let's move it closer to the camera here and maybe play with the Z scatter and all the scatters as well. Now we can go ahead and go into the animation engine and enable it. So what that does is basically we can now animate from group one into group two using this keyframe. Let's set this to radial and let's set a keyframe here and go to one second and let's set this to maybe actually 40. And towards the end of the composition, we're gonna set this to 50. And this is what we've got. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and speed this up. And one thing I wanna do already is increase the rotation here and maybe the displacement. Now we do have a continuous movement here, but I do like to add a keyframe to the rotation here. And if we go to the end, give it just a bit more, like so. Okay, this is basically the animation for the glass breaking. Let's go back into Element and start making this look presentable. First thing, let's go ahead and change the environment to one of these. Uh, I might go with this one. And let's up the glossiness here to 80. And the refraction maybe to 100. And just play around with these settings. You can use some textures as well to give it some more details. And if we scroll down here, we actually have force opacity and let's set this to 99. Now element is not very good with transparency, but we're gonna adjust some things to make it look better. So another thing here I like to add is smaller details. So we can do that by basically duplicating the same group. So if we go into group number two, duplicate it and set it to group number three. Let me go ahead and enable multi object for this group as well. And let's move it closer to these pieces, so about here. And if we scale down the size on the multi-object here, we basically scale each fracture by its own origin. If we select some displacement here and scatter the pieces. So let's go back into the frame where it breaks, so about here. We'll set a keyframe for the displacement and the size. And we're going to move this to about here and set these two to zero. So basically, once this pops, the smaller pieces will appear as well. 
and let's give it a continuous movement as well so increase this with a displacement and set a keyframe for the random rotation as well so this is just a nice touch of detail with smaller pieces now let's start making this look even better let's go down to the render settings and enable ambient occlusion let's set this to maybe five and under lighting you can go ahead and choose one of the presets i'm gonna go with aqua and let's create a text okay so as you can see we got the glass transparent at the beginning and it breaks and reveals the text let's duplicate the element layer and make an adjustment layer here and drop it below here let's make it alpha mat to this element layer and add a blur to it so now by creating this blur we basically adjust all the areas behind the glass and this is just a nice touch we can also go ahead and add an effect called scatter and if we set this to five you can see we get these nice glass type of effect here maybe three another thing i like to do is if we duplicate the element layer and we scroll down to the output and set this to specular we basically create a nice isolated layer here of the light and i can go ahead and add a glow to this and set it to additive and it just adds a very nice glare type of effect here to the glass which i think adds to the shot and makes it look much nicer so we've added the details the glow and i showed you how to create the animation what's left to do is add some depth of field and we can do this by going to one of the element layers here let me actually solo it and let's go into depth of field and set this to focus illustrator let's hit aa on our camera and turn it on and by increasing the focus distance here we're going to start seeing some red pieces and basically whatever is red is going to be in focus and what's not is going to be out of focus so if we go back into the element here and we set this back to pixel blur you can see the depth of field is working and it's making everything blurry outside the red pieces and this applies to all the element layer we have in the shot as well now the only thing i've added in the beginning of the video is some shake some background and motion blur. Thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope you found this helpful, I'll see you next time.